All right. Over the last little bit, in the comments, there have been some people that have suggested that the reason that some cruise lines are returning to the in-person safety drill is because of pressure by the U.S. Coast Guard. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Are these people in the know? Or are they just full of sh sugar? Sugar. Look, I, I found a guy that may know. And uh, he, he's popping off with some salacious, salacious conversation. Um, yeah, let's talk about it. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with the latest breakdown of what's going on in the cruise business. If you like staying up to date with everything that's going on in cruising, well, uh, this is the one-stop shop. You can be a part of the Loca fam by hitting the subscribe button with the notification bell, and, uh, well, well, we'll keep you informed. All right, uh, here's the deal. I was doing my research today. I came across this article by Gene Sloan. Gene Sloan, who writes for The Points Guy. The Points Guy, a preeminent travel blog website, site that tells you how to get the most out of your credit card. A lot of stuff over there. And Gene Sloan writes about cruising for them. And, well, that website is big enough, and Gene's a well-known enough guy that he can reach right out to cruise lines and ask them questions. And he dropped this article. It's uh, fairly hot off the presses. The title is this. This is likely the reason some cruise lines are returning to in-person muster drills, and it has nothing to do with safety. And then there's a picture of a Norwegian cruise line cruise ship. Pretty salacious title there, Gene. And a pretty salacious article. The whole thesis of this article is the idea that Norwegian Cruise Line isn't going back to the in-person muster drill uh, because of safety reasons. And, and well, the, the way that Gene goes about proving it is he's reached out to four cruise lines, Carnival Cruise Line, Royal Caribbean, Norwegian Cruise Line, and Disney, and he's asking them for the deets, for their details on why they are taking the approach that they are taking to their uh, muster drill, to their safety process. And he kind of uses Carnival as a smoking gun. Let me tell you what Carnival told Gene Sloan. They said, e-muster requires more staffing resources. But our experience with the e-muster process has been extremely positive and we are able to provide guests with critical safety information in a more individualized manner, including them understanding very specifically where their muster station is and how to get to it. This is one of the reasons I've been championing the e-muster is that you have to know where your muster station is to complete the process. Uh, and this is what Carnival is saying. Gene goes one step further, inferring that Carnival sees the e-muster process as, if anything, safer than the old style of in-person mustering. But what about the Coast Guard? Well, Carnival speaks to that too. They say this, our implementation of e-mustering has received very positive feedback from the U.S. Coast Guard and other safety experts, as well as generated positive comments for the effectiveness from our guests during our post-cruise survey results. Carnival wanted to put an exclamation point on this statement by telling the points guy, we will continue to utilize our e-mustering process while always looking for ways to improve its effectiveness. So Carnival, they're not budging. They're going to stay with the e-muster process. They said they have the blessing of the Coast Guard. They also said that it seems more safe than the uh, traditional old way of doing the mustering. But, uh, you know, look, what is good reporting? without multiple sources and they also have a statement from Royal Caribbean Group. Royal Caribbean Group said this, Royal Caribbean Group created and implemented the Muster 2.0 experience to improve safety on board and enhance the overall guest experience. Royal Caribbean Group and its brands have no plans to change its Muster 2.0 experience which has received overwhelmingly positive feedback from guests worldwide. Now like I said, they did reach out to four cruise lines, Carnival, Royal Caribbean, Disney, and Norwegian Cruise Line. Disney and Norwegian Cruise Line have gone back to the old way of doing the muster. You know what Norwegian said when asked about this from the points guy? They said, well, we already put out a statement and we don't have anything else to add to it. Uh, that statement is the one we saw the other day. The safety of our guests and crew members is our number one priority. We continuously evaluate our procedures for providing detailed instructions on safety and security measures to our guests and as such have made the decision to reinstate synchronized in-person muster drills on embarkation day across all the vessels in the fleet. And like I said, when questioned about this statement, they said we have nothing to add. Gene Sloan? 
And then uh, when they asked Disney, uh, Disney basically hearkened to safety. Also, we regularly review our processes and made the decision to return to in-person assembly drills in November to ensure all crew members and guests are fully aware of our safety procedures in the event of an emergency. And so if it's not the Coast Guard and if it's not safety, then why would a cruise line like Norwegian go back to the in-person muster drill well, well, the points guide, without you know coming right out and saying it, did say this. Norwegian did not mention staffing issues or cost cutting in its statement. However, the line's move away from e-mustering comes as it is cutting costs in several other onboard areas by reducing passenger services and amenities. And then he chronicles the you know reduction of two times a day room cleaning. They also talk about the reduction in entertainment, 25% hike in service fees. So without coming straight out and saying that it's a cost-cutting measure, again, the inference here could be seen as maybe Norwegian is doing this to cut costs. There's no definitive answer. Uh, but it's an interesting supposition uh, put forth by Gene Sloan on the uh, the Points Guy site. What do you think? Like, you know, I contemplated that maybe they did this because there was a lack of compliance with the new e-muster. It was taking too long to finally get everybody mustered. And along those lines, it does tie up a lot of crew members to do the e-muster process. Every muster station has crew members stationed there until everybody is done with the safety process. Then they can be released back to their other duties. So if this e-muster process is elongating the amount of time that uh, vital crew members are doing the safety briefing instead of getting back to the things they need to do, is it the Coast Guard? Is it is it safety? I guess we can all decide for ourselves. Uh, I would love to hear what you think. How about leaving a comment below? Thank you, Gene Sloan, for the juicy article and the uh, the food for thought today. Uh, so much appreciated. This is Tony for La Lido Loca. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.